before I do that, let me do this. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976 allowances made for fair use for the purposes such as criticism, common news, repealing, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is used permitted by the copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit education or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. Joke, no joke. I am using this content under fair use for the purpose of criticism, common and news reporting. Okay? Let's get into this. This is going to blow your minds today. We now we gonna know who was responsible for the Tupac killing. All right. Listen, what you're about to hear is two of Reggie Wright's juniors of Rightway Security, who was doing security for death row. Uh Reggie was Suge Knight's personal bodyguard or security. And what you're about to is two of his workers talking about the night Tupac got killed, right? Michael Moore was one of the, the people that worked uh, for Tupac. And Frank Alexander was the other one that worked personal security for Tupac. All right? Pay attention and listen. The, the audio ain't that great, so you got to listen up, all right? Now, right now, what you're hearing is Michael Moore talking to Frank Alexander. And what he just said to him is, he like, damn, nigga, Pac is dead now, man. That shit going to hurt financially. And Reggie says, we ain't going to be hurting for nothing. And that's why Frank, like, who the fuck is we? Like, that nigga don't own no company. Who is we? Right? But what Michael Moore is saying is that is a strange response to be having like when Tupac died, you talking about, oh, we ain't gonna hurt up for nothing? What? I said, damn, man, that's pretty sad. I said, financially, that's gonna fuck some shit up. And he goes, we ain't gonna be hurt for nothing. So, <laughs> but what you saying that don't mean, you know, that's sure it's involvement or this and that. Because I'm going to tell you something else, man. You know, we, we don't know big, well, we know that Reggie and Sugar are close. They grew up together. They're like brothers, right? We don't know how much Sugar completely trusts Reggie or will say certain things to Reggie. You know, maybe there's nothing he won't say to him. Then again, maybe there is. Maybe, um, uh, um, Reggie knows a lot, okay? But I don't think if she would get anything to do with two parts stuff, he would tell Reggie. He would. You think he would? He would. I know he would. Like, uh, Cause, because they're tighter than you think. Everything that she does, Reggie knows. Because I tell you right now, 
Anything goes down with shit, you know who's going to run this company? Richie. Oh, uh, well, what do you mean? Defo? He would, he would much rather see it turn over to Reggie. Nope. Well, because then everything comes back on Reggie, right? Everything is pointed at Reggie. That's pressure Reggie can't handle. Let me tell you, if something goes wrong with Shook, who's going to run the company? Common sense, right? Sharita was, Sharita. Sharita was is on the thing. Sharita's on the paper. Yeah, Reggie she's... would carry most of the burden. Man, I can't see it. I cannot see that. I can't see that. Even, and, I, and you know who I got that from? A good source, a family member. Now, I'm going to say Frank was sleeping. Frank was sleeping. Michael Moore is telling him, nigga, if something happened to Suge, Reggie going to run the company. Michael, I mean, Red, Frank like, nah, nah, I don't think so. He like, yo, I'm telling you, nigga. Something happened to Suge, Frank, Reggie going to run the company. Frank like, nah, man, I think it'd be Sharita. He like, no, 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 no. It will go into Sharita, but it's going to be ran by Reggie. Now, Reggie's father tells Michael Moore that. But, and we're going to get into that. But how did it turn out, y'all? How did it turn out? Suge went to jail, and he let who run death row? Michelle and Reggie. So Reggie knew he had great opportunity opportunity to inherit the label if something happened to Suge, right? Just keep that thought. And remember, he cool with Sharita, right? But keep that thought. Man, I can't see it. I cannot see that. I can't see it. Even, and, I, and you know who I got that from? A good source, a family member, <laughs> a family member. Maria, Riddy's dad. Riddy's dad. Riddy's dad told me that. Wow. He goes, he said, Michael, if anything happens to Shug, this is what he told me. If anything happens to Shug, Riddy would run the majority of the company. And I said, even over Sharita, he goes, trust me, Riddy. You know why? One thing Shug does. One thing Shug does is trust Riddy. He does. I'm saying Riddy fucked that whole shooting deal up. All that shit was Reggie's fault. Reggie was the one that wasn't with Shug. Reggie was the one who, you know, I was at the hospital when Red Shug called Reggie in there. You see what I'm saying? I was there. One thing Shug didn't do is he didn't blame any of it for Reggie. And trust me, the shit was all Reggie's fault. Yeah, it was. It was all Reggie's fault. It should have been blamed. Y'all hear that? It was all Reggie's Four. This is Reggie's security. It was all Reggie's fault. Shug was ignorant. He trusted this grimy ass nigga. He ain't see him for the snake that he was. He probably see it now, but it's way too goddamn late. But as they said, it was all Reggie's fault. We all know this, right? If he's the head of security, if somebody get killed and he's the head of security, we already know it's his fault. But watch how they break down. How is his fault? You know, I mean, it wasn't even something where you could debate it. Any, any common sense tells you that the fault, this the fault was not sure. You have been off for six weeks. Yeah. Every one of the decisions that got me, uh, me out of there, you in there, and everything else, all of that came from the red mouth. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All that came straight from Reggie. That's why his shit was so comical. Because I kept saying, boy, and then when I talked to Mr. When I went, um, we were with Jeff Kim with Mr. Knight, well, he told me on the leg. He goes, yeah, if anything happens, if anything comes up, Reggie would be the one running the whole day in the day out operation. So it would turn it to him. Because I'm going to tell you who he wouldn't turn it to. He has more faith than Reggie than he does Norris and uh What's call it? Uh, Defo people. Defo people. He would turn it over to Reggie and say, everything that Shook would get, he would call Reggie, and then Reggie would put it into play. Well, uh, Mike, uh, did you really think that it was a setup? I right. thought you got to ask that question. Do you, in your heart, think it was a setup?
Y'all hear that? Now, Frank asks uh, Michael Moore, yo, do you think that was a setup like to kill Pac? And, and, and Shug, do you think that was a setup or in your heart of hearts? Think about it. Do you think that was a setup? Watch this. 